Hi everyone, today we're going to be covering the CASB policy pyramid to look at how organizations in different industries are leveraging cloud access security broker technologies. So at the kind of the base of our pyramid is sort of foundational technologies including identity and visibility. So these are at the base because they apply to pretty much every organization on the planet. Having a strong sense of identity and then some visibility into suspicious ac activities and behaviors and other types of things that may be sources of uh, compromise or data leakage becomes critically important. Then stepping up, something applies to, that applies to most organizations, are things like access control. You know, so for example, looking at managed versus unmanaged devices and providing different levels of access to an unmanaged device versus a managed device. And malware scanning. You know, it's a, it's a now commonly known fact that very few uh, organizations, very few cloud app vendors provide any sort of built-in malware scanning inside of those cloud-based applications. So uh, these access control and, and malware protection apply to most organizations pretty much in every industry as well, and you'll see that pretty broadly deployed. And then as we step up into things like data leakage prevention, uh, this is where it gets a bit more specific to, you know, primarily to regulated industries or security conscious industries. So you see this in healthcare, where they're trying to identify patient data before it's uh, before it's accessed, let's say from a BYOD device, or you know maybe in, a, in an industry like uh, like pharmaceuticals, which isn't necessarily regulated, but still has intellectual property that they want to protect. They'll use the DLP components of a CASB to protect that data. And then at the top of the pyramid here. Uh, is encryption. So this is where you'll see pretty broad adoption in, or, in industries like financial services and government where they want to actually encrypt data on their premises before it ever gets to the cloud so that they can use the cloud without ever exposing their sensitive data directly to the cloud application vendor. So that's typically used by the most security conscious and heavily regulated industries that you have out there. So there you have it. This is the so the pyramid of the most commonly used cloud access security broker policies and where they apply to various different industries. Thanks so much for joining.